Uh, what's up guys uh welcome back this is your boy again yeah, adam slink how you guys doing welcome to another crazy video uh first good morning good afternoon good evening depending on where you are watching this video from sorry i forgot yesterday uh to tell you to wish you happy new month so yesterday was first august and uh, today is uh second august so happy new month guys and i hope this month is fruitful for all of us and uh, more money no trouble good health and uh good uh everything good that uh the world can offer and also if you are passing through difficulties don't worry uh i think there will be a solution really 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 soon in this month of august so guys uh just to give you a recap of the things we're going to be discussing we're going to look at that guy who was reportedly beaten to death by an italian man in italy and i'm also going to check out uh, some stuff happening in nigeria then bono boy then and a do state shower as well we have an update on that then uh kubana chief priest something happened uh with him with uh an with uh, an employee well let's start with that our italian man you know it's been days now and uh someone has brought to our notice according to what this guy said he said days have passed since alika oguchuku was publicly killed by a white italian man unconsigned passerby stood and watched this man being beaten to death and he also said i am still surprised that until now Nigerians haven't really shown the same rage they felt when George Floyd was murdered. Well, should I be surprised? You see, uh, we carry too much Uyibu things for it. If this thing happened in USA now, the hashtag will be everywhere. Even in Nigeria, the hashtag will be there. If it's not a Nigerian man or what happened to a black man in USA, the hashtags will be there. Your own brother, I've, we all remember during the time of George Floyd. You saw the hashtag for, for, for days in Nigeria's page, Nigeria Twitter's page, Nigeria Twitter social media. Floyd was trending. That was good though. I'm not discriminating that. But why is it that Alika is not trending? Why is it that you are not hunger about what happened to Alika. Why? Well, it's quite unfortunate. It, it's, uh, uh, I don't know when we will stop whitewashing ourselves. I don't know. I don't know. Then, guys, uh, let's move over. There's this video that shows Obi Kubana ignoring, or should I say stylishly waving off a guy. That was the video. After the guy posted the video, of course, a lot of people came out to say, ah, why is uh, this uh, Kubana chief priest acting like a big boss? As if someone never really assisted him. As if he was already rich from, from bed. You know, we saw a lot of calls coming from left to right towards uh, Kubana chief priest. And if you know Kubana chief priest history, you will know that Kubana, Obi Kubana was the first for the person that groomed Kubana chief priest. Kubana Chief Priest is well known billionaire in Nigeria. Not billionaire in dollars, so billionaire in naira. So he has money. He has, uh, he has a bunch of uh, many clubs around Nigeria and he has other investments as well. And he's also a very close friend to David O. So, David O being a very jovial person, why is Kubana Chief Priest ignoring this guy? Why? When I saw it, I felt somehow, but. I never wanted to react until I hear from him. And guess what? He has finally decided to talk. He said, don't lose focus. Stay committed to your job. You were paid to deliver an arranged seat. Job still undone. You left the seat to come up the stage to make videos. When sound check is going on. When my venue is not set yet, I don't entertain Josie. Put your work first, you will get locks. Put your work first, you get locks. Say, now only high I give you. 
Honestly, I kind of like understand where Kobanachi Prices is coming from. You are being paid to do a job, to deliver seats and arrange seats. Huh? Then you decide to carry your camera, come on stage to start taking videos. If Tamiya will slap you. Honestly, I'm, I'm just being honest. You are gone. See, that job, eh? You are, I, I will sack you immediately. You left your job. You carry phone. You come on stage. They video people. I will sack you. So I honestly support Kubana chief priest. That's me. But uh, you can kindly leave your comment below, guys, and tell me how you feel about that as well. Then uh, let's talk about Bono Boy, who is currently breaking the records upon the records. And this time, he has become the first Nigerian artist to sell out another venue in the United States of America. And according to the headline, they said, Bono Boy became the first African artist to sell out the prestigious 21,000 capacity state Farm Arena in Atlanta, USA. Bono Boy is just moving slowly, slowly, slowly. And I don't know how he will sell out all those shows. Just that I follow his show that are selling out, but before you know it, boom, Bono Boy have sold out this. Before you know it, boom, Bono Boy have sold out, the, uh, sold out this show. Man, it's going, it's, it's, it's getting bigger and bigger every day. And uh, other artists need to catch up. Because Bonner Boy, when it comes to show, Bonner Boy is the one topping. I'm not going to lie to you. We already know that. He's the one topping currently. When it comes to selling out shows, he's the one topping currently. But when it comes to record, you can give it to Whiskey, though. Because Whiskey, the made in Lagos, is the first Nigeria Africa artist to sell 500,000 units. In United States of America, so that is gold uh, plague. Well, that's also good. So you give uh, the show performance to Bonner Boy Asad now, then you give the record sale to Whiskey Asad now. So should I say you give the most popular Nigeria artist to David Do on Twitter, social media, and all the rest Asad now? Is that okay? <laughs> Popularity to do the blue money, but I'm not throwing jab at anybody. Don't say I'm throwing jab. Then uh, here's a shocking video that shows a state sex worker, popularly called a shower, hawking and also doing a shower at the same time. You know, in a state, the Edo state government has uh, put a stamp on no a shower in a state, no prostituting in a state. So, tax force police have been authorized to go within street and street to arrest any girl seen involving in such trade. Involving in such trade. Well, they have devised another means to disguise while doing this trade. And that video shows them hawking. And meanwhile, now I shall the bill, they are hawking. I think they need to stop it because, obviously, uh, women, ladies who are actually doing the hawking, will be targeted now. They will be targeted. We'll say, oh, uh, after all, all of you guys now, shall, after all, I shall do the use hawking style. So we won't be able to differentiate, police will be able to differentiate an hawker that sells stuff from uh, an Ashawa girl that is disguising as an hawker. Check it out, guys. So, you please, you guys will find other means. Now, they use on their own, until they rob other people that are doing their business. You, you guys will spoil other people's business for them. So, please, devise another means. Stop doing okay. Please. Then, uh, Destiny Tico, a popular Nigerian Nollywood actress, have uh, decided to gift her mom a brand new car. No. One of all those prayers, uh, even my mom, uh, because I remember when I, I did stuff for my mom, you know, and uh, she was extremely, really, really happy about that. And let me tell you guys, never underestimate the prayers of her parents. 
And I can vividly tell you, it's not as if I'm prayerful. I think the prayers of my parents are working on me. It's not my prayers, honestly. So Destiny Tico uh, decided to gift her mom a brand new car, uh, Venza. Well, and that Venza could cost up to 8 million, 10 million, depending on the year. That is a really, really damn expensive car. I know Destiny Tico uh, several have been linked to, you know, uh, big big uh big uh men in nigeria say she has a sugar daddy and recently she came out to say she's putting in a lot of work nobody should accuse her or to put a success in place of a man saying oh a man is the one doing those things for her that she won't tolerate it well so destiny tickle big congratulation to her because she's definitely going to receive the prayers from her mom and also big congrats to her mom so check out this what uh Oyega Michael said about a friend who he was having this Josie life with four days ago decided to travel without informing him. He said, Pensy, when I follow drink beer on Thursday, don't relocate to Germany today. We spent hours talking about beer and never did this weary mention is leaving the country. This morning, for the number they called me, I think seen as scam, so I know pick. The number come call for WhatsApp. I pick up now Shedra. He say he no tell anybody except in Papa because he no one take chances. I was super happy for him though, but I'm glad to know he sees me as a devil that can ruin his visa application. Well, do not blame people for doing such things. And also, it depends also. See, that guy has a best friend. He know the kind of people that he can tell. I know the kind of people he can't tell. So, that is his choice. Even my friend that traveled to, uh, that traveled to USA, then, himself, he told me, I was so shocked that he, he told me that he was running uh, visa stuff and all the rest, because he trusted me. He trusted me. And very fortunate, he traveled. Everything was so smooth, no trouble, no issue, he traveled. Even when he wanted to take his wife, he also told me, and I, his, his wife as well and kid traveled. So everything went so smooth. So I'm glad that I do not have a bad spirit. There are people out there who have bad spirit. Without them knowing, you know, it's not as if they know that they have bad spirit. So it's advisable. Whenever you are having anything good coming up, eh? whenever you are, be it pregnancy, be it anything at all that is good, just keep quiet first. Allow the thing to mature. Keep quiet first. Keep quiet first. Allow the thing to mature before showing it out, showing it off. Huh? So, guys, uh, to end this video, here is a statistics that was re recently recorded. 200 pharmacies flee Nigeria in one year, said association. 200 pharmacies flee Nigeria in one year. I think you guys' statistics is wrong. You guys need to check. More than 200 pharmacies do flee Nigeria every year. Go and check very well. More than. Way more than 200. Go and check very well. Well, guys, uh, it's a boy, Gia Adam Slink, and uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, thank you for all the supporting. Catch you next time. Do not go anywhere. Have a wonderful day. Stay blessed.